Ruth Shellhouse, uh, just a federal contractor. Uh, how many, you're, you're hitting with the January 1st deadline, but realistically, what regulations or how many rulemakings is it really going to impact you for January, or is it going to be July, or is it, and how often do you re up, really update the different incorporated by reference standards? Well, I know OPS will kick me if I get any of this uh, slightly inaccurate, but on average we update our standards every couple of years, and, and quite frankly right now we were in the middle of a two-year cycle. We were in the process, FEMSA was in the process of, of a two-year rulemaking where we were updating about 35, 39 standards uh, to make them the most current version. Um, we were also in the process of adopting new standards that had not yet previously been incorporated by reference. Um, so those efforts are on hold until we can figure out how we can meet our legal obligations, our statutory requirements as of January. There were several other rulemakings uh, for a variety of pipeline issues, um, safety issues, that incorporate um, various technical standards in that rule. It was not a, a simple technical or standards update, but it was part of a larger rule where we were addressing um, recommendations or safety issues that have arisen over the last several years. And those are also, um, you know, in some ways, they're not on hold as such, but clearly if we don't get them approved and published and out um, by December 31st, they then too will be subject to the same requirement. And it does beg the question, what would happen to those rules? So I'm not sure um, if that addresses your question, but certainly there is a, a current process of rules underway that we are needing to evaluate because of our implementation requirements in January.